Hello everyone, I'm back, I guess. I have really not been feeling all that great this week, I guess, but here I go. I, time for the next game I'll be let's playing Sonic 3D Blast, the Genesis version. I would not be surprised if there are people who prefer the uh, Saturn version, I think it was. There was a PC version, too, I don't know what. Sega was like all up in a PC thing, but like, look me, I have computer games, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, um, no, 1990. This is a 1996? That's a lot later than I thought. Anyway. I've actually, uh, uh, played, um, up, 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 up. Or not that. I've, I have heard first. Back to time, mysterious birds. They live in another dimension and can travel anywhere through starred rings. And they were starred in a really, really old and pretty, I don't know, mediocre Sega game. So this, Robotnik is weird looking, and he learns how to flickies. I will have the flickies into robots and have them search for the Chaos Emerald for me. Using the infinite power of the Emeralds, I can conquer the world. And look weird. Again, he looks fat too. You see, he looks. Sonic like visits Flicky Island for some inexplicable reason to see his friends, but the only thing he finds are robots. It's an easier. Er, what? I don't know if he can. Robotic made my friends like this that I have never even met before. I must save them. Robotic must be stopped. That's a good voice from my Sonic starts to defeat the enemies in order to rescue the flickies who are trapped inside. And he does it in 3D! That's that's why they're in another dimension. It's in the third dimension. Go, so, Sonic, you can warp through the big rings with the help of the flicky. Chase after Robo, not Nick Nick, Dr. Heinemann, and defeat his plans. Yeah, I'm going to call these flickies myths for some reason. Dr. Heinem is turning myths into robots by um, busting them, I guess. Anyway, well, actually, no, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's actually uh, Savage the Hedgehog who busts the myths by busting the robots. And I don't know, anyway. Um. So, yeah, I have never played the uh, Saturn version, but. I have heard some of the music in it, and I like the music in this one more, I don't know. I also read that it had a different special stage, which I'll get to the special stage later. Um, it apparently was harder and more like Sonic 2's, which... That is the one thing about Sonic 2 I do not like. It's special stage. I am absolutely horrible at it. Oops, I got it. Yeah, I'm blast to the sky, Mario. But, yeah, I'm terrible at that special stage. In fact, the only special stage that I can I would ever able to do is this one and, um... Um... Uh... Yeah, Sonic 3 Knuckles, which you already saw me do, like, right? way back in the times, I guess. I don't know how I am. Yeah, this one is really easy, which was apparently a complaint about them. A complaint from people, which are was pretty dumb because they just like things being too hard and people who... Or only adequate at games like me can do them. Um, 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 um. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is too easy. I don't know. This is just the first one. But anyway, so this pr that's pretty much my two cents. I like the music in this game more than what I've heard from the Saturn version, and I've never actually played the Saturn version. I like this game okay. It might just be some nostalgia though, because it's probably not that great of a game, but. I like it okay. I, I mean, the other the side-scrolling games are. I guess it's sort of like a, a precursor of what to come. Uh, but I still like it. It's <coughs> it's a game I like and stuff. <coughs> I never forgot what those Sonic emblem symbols do. There, I mean, I don't get a life increase. There's so many of them. I don't. I think they just be continues. I don't know. Anyway, this is an isometric view, like with uh, uh, Super Mario RPG, except this is the good way to do isometric views without having a lot of 
without having horrible and terrible vines to um have to scale. Uh, basically, they are the pardon Paper Mario RPG. Well, at least forgets these things exist. Um, where ha in Beanstalk Park or whatever, I had to climb up some terrible vines. I that was totally took me for so. Our brother and I used to think that was supposed to be. Well, we thought once I think that was supposed to be a enemy you have to break and get a flicky out of it because he couldn't find a flicky for some reason. Anyway, getting all five flickies at once increases your score, and I sure care about score. Um, okay, at this point I forget where things are, so I just sort of stumble around usually. Okay, here's one. Now, one thing about the isometric view is it's kind of hard to jump, which is what I complain about in Super Mario RPG. Anyway, so just rolling into foes is probably a better way to thing. Also, you can lose the flickies if one of them that's trailing behind you hits a. a uh, foe, which is kind of weird. Or not really weird, I guess. It's just kind of something to look, watch out for. And I kind of went that backwards, but oh well. Okay, let's see. I, oh, there's an enemy. And there's me getting hurt. Uh, aha! Okay. I don't want to hit that. But that's supposed to be anyway. It looks like... I have no clue what it looks like. <sighs> anyway. Okay, I'm going to do my impression of Sonic fans now. Look! Sonic is not... does not have swirly feet. He is going slow. I'm going to complain about that. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> um... Let's see, what else? I am going to whine. And, um. Um. He should be chubby and have colorless eyes. Yeah, I. Until I look. Until I read some of the responses to the Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 1, Hedge Star Ruiner, Revelation, is some stuff. I never realized that what Kasuigi says about Sonic fans, most the Sonic fan base, mostly. I'm not saying all. I don't think. I mean, no, not. I doubt he's saying all of them because I technically am counting. But a lot of them just complain about everything. I don't know. That's what it seems to be, considering they're complaining about crap like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I ran out of stuff to talk about. Ah, look, a thing, I still don't know what it does. Yeah, come here, bug. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one more to find. Probably over here. Hey, it is. Okay, there's well, there's some places where there's walls that you can break through that don't look like you can break through them. I feel like this is supposed to be one of those. On the other hand, maybe it's from the other I don't know, some of the levels actually get kind of wonky and wacky with being all sorts of different places. Like, this one it leads up to right over here. Oh yeah, you, get, you shoot off from there. Yeah, it's kind of actually kind of reminds me of Andrew Tilly, with all the levels sort of contained connecting together. Technically, this is not all the levels; it's just one single level with various areas are connected. Oh look, it's Knuckles. Well, I thought the Sonicers look really weird here. And hello, there you go. Knuckles and just Tails, who appears as another thing Knuckles does, just look plain weird. I don't know. Anyway. Another special save. I like the music it plays here too. Yeah, I mentioned that already. I like this music. Actually, I actually really like music in this game. Not all of them, but I, there is no game I can think of that I like all the music of. Not even Banjo Kazooie and Banjo 2. There are some songs in those games I don't like. 
I just don't. It's not that I down flat out hate them. It's hate the music. It's just uh, I don't really like them. But yeah, enough of my talking about music, I guess. We, yay! Hey, look, the emeralds are the same color as mine. Ah. Uh. 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 Uh.